Hi students, I hope you're doing great and today I'm going to discuss with you in terms of creative writing a brand new writing style and that is essay writing. By definition, essay writing is a focused piece of writing. By focused, I mean that there is a particular topic, a topic of focus on which we write an essay. An essay is a long piece of writing. So just like we have an article, we have a letter, this essay is also a long type writing style. Now essays are used to give your opinions, what you feel about something. Then they also give you certain facts, that is what is the reality, what are the things that are going on, the current issues. So basically, you are able to pen down all your thoughts, views, ideas, philosophies and facts through the essay. It gives you a lot of space to interact with your reader. So based on that, an essay uh, is of five different types. It can be of five different types based on the use that it is being put to. Let us talk about that. Look at the five types. The first one is a descriptive essay, wherein you describe. Describe the natural beauty, describe anything for that matter, an object, a person, a nature, describing yourself, area, a place, how does it look. So, for example, you write an essay on the beauty of Taj Mahal. So, you describe the Taj Mahal, how it looks, how it appears, what all is there, what are the scenic beauty, the details, all of that you describe. So, that is a descriptive essay which focuses on the description of something or someone. The second one is a narrative essay. Narrative essay wherein you tell a story, you narrate an incident, you uh, want to revisit something. For example, you write an essay on uh, what I did during my winter vacation. So you narrate. If you went on a holiday, you will narrate that trip. What you felt, where all you went, what all happened. So sequence wise, sequence of events, you will narrate just like you tell a story. So that kind of an essay will become a narrative essay. The third essay is the expository essay. Now don't go by the difficult uh, word expository but just uh, think of it as a collection of facts. Like you have a newspaper report in which something has happened, an accident has happened and you are going to give the facts about the accident. Two cars collided at 9 a.m. yesterday uh, morning. These many people were injured. These many people were hurt. You know, the emergency services arrived. So you give the facts of any incident, of any event. So when you have to present the facts in that essay, that becomes an expository essay. So we have by far gone through the descriptive essay, the narrative essay, the expository essay. We've done three. There are two more. Another one is an imaginative essay. An imaginative essay would be uh, something that you write totally out of your own imagination. For example, if you write an essay on a random topic like, what if I were a pen? Yes. Or an autobiography of a horse. So something out of the box, something fairy tale like the life of a unicorn. So something like that, if you write out of the blue, completely out of your imagination, that becomes an imaginative essay, wherein you are using your imagination, your uh, mind is allowed to be free and you are able to say what you want to say. That is an imaginative. The last and the final one is an argumentative essay. Now, what is an argumentative essay? You present an argument. It is like a debate wherein you try to present your point and you try to uh, convince the reader that you are right. 
For example, if I, I were to write an essay on um, why smoking is bad for health. Now, in that case, I will have to present my argument. Argument means those points which will support this idea. I have thought of this idea. The topic of my essay is why smoking is bad for health. Now, since we have this topic, I will have to prove why it is wrong. So I've presented my idea that it is bad for health. Now to prove that I am right, I will, uh, you know, write down those points. I will write my essay, my, you know, views, my ideas, philosophies in such a way so that my concept of smoking is bad for health is proven in favor. Okay. Or we can also go against it. Okay. What, yes. Usually what happens in argumentative essays. Um, this is what there is a difference between a debate and an argument. A debate will be that if I have to write a debate, I will either write in favor or in against. If I've been told you write in favor of this topic. Uh, smoking is bad for health. You write in favor. I will completely construct the argument in favor. On the other hand, if I have to write against, I will completely construct against. So that is a debate wherein two different set point of views are presented. But in an argumentative essay, an essay is more down to earth, more simple. And in that, when we are presenting an argument, we try that we present both the sides of the coin. And the main aim of the argumentative essay then becomes uh, to convince the reader that whatever the writer is saying is correct. So we have done five basic type of essays and I've told you what exactly is an essay. An essay is a long piece of writing, focused writing, wherein we have a topic in mind and we present our views, ideas, opinions, you know, uh, on paper, sometimes to uh, uh, give vent to our imagination, sometimes for an argument, sometimes for a description, sometimes for the facts. So for different, you know, purposes, we can write an essay. As far as the format of an essay goes, um, as I've already told you, uh, it is a long type writing style. So whenever we are writing something long, the first point to be noted is that we have to keep in mind, as I've already told you, the introduction, that is, we have to begin the writing, introduce the writing. Then we have to write the main body, which is the main content. And then we write the conclusion. What are the final points? What are the takeaways? So as always, in any creative piece of writing, we maintain the I, I B, C format. Here also, we maintain the introduction, body, conclusion. Apart from that, there has to be a topic, a heading for the essay, always uh, showing what topic is it on. If it is um, smoking is bad for health, then we have to put a proper heading to it. Always the essay has a heading. Now the byline, that is the name of the author by such and such person. Now this is optional. So for example, if you are writing a descriptive or a narrative essay um, or even an imaginative essay, then you can have your own name on it. You can name the author there. But for uh, expository essays or argumentative essays, they may or may not require the name of the author. So the byline which you write just below the heading so you put the heading and then you in the next line you write by and your name. That is there. It is the part of the format, but it is optional based on for what reason, the purpose. So as I've told you, descriptive, narrative uh, and imaginative can have a byline because it is your, your view and that needs to be specified. And uh, in argumentative or expository, expository as in presenting the facts, it may or may not be required. So that's an optional part. And you have to write a minimum of three to four paragraphs. And as I have told you, 
that in IBC format, you have to follow it in a way wherein you equally div divide your writing. When I say equally divide your writing, if it is three paragraphs, you have to equally divide one paragraph of in introduction, one paragraph of body and one paragraph of conclusion and make it balanced. And apart from that, um, you have to maintain a direct, simple kind of a language which is not too much and not too complicated to understand because, you know, uh, it should be easy for the reader to read. And uh, depending on the type of uh, essay that you are writing, you can easily modify the language. Um, apart from that, there doesn't seem to be any such set structure to it. Only you have to keep in mind the matter and the basic format that is there. As usual, with this discussion, you have an associated planner which will give you an in-depth and detailed understanding of how essays work, what they are, what is their format and what are the innate details. And you will be able to understand it better. There's also a practice question which you will have to attempt and I hope you enjoy it. This is a, only an introduction to, uh, you know, to the topic and it will ease your understanding and I hope you will be able to write well using the information I just gave you. Have a great day students and thank you for listening.